Oh, obviously my man brand passer. You know what I mean? That that's you know from, for those looking at this right now, going where these motherfuckers been. You know what I mean? It's that. You know what I'm saying? Understanding, damn, a part of what got you to that level you wanted to get, you lost like a year or a, or less later. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, damn, you get there with your brother, and then it's like, whew, get out of here. not get out of here, but stop. And I say stop, not the game stopped you, but your heart stops. You know what I'm saying? So it's one of them things that took me a long time to this day. Brando like this. Look at let anybody go online and look at the videos we see Brand doing there. That's 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 the peak to me when we all on stage doing what we want to do. And he's like that. Cause I used to always look at him and just be like, yo, this nigga right here can't be doing this on national TV. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that right there is the to me like the peak moments. Real talk. What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy Poe Row. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like a video if you appreciate the content that Poe Row and what's the numbers I provided. Today we back with a profile piece. This one is on Marlon Brando from the Sporty Thieves. In this video, we're going to talk about his time coming up in Yonkers, New York. Then we will speak about his come up as a rapper with his group Sporty Thieves and the hit record he will be a part of before the age of 21. After that, we will discuss the trajectory his career was on before breaking down the horrific event that ended up taking Brando's life at such a young age. Marlon Bryant, better known as Marlon Brando, is from Yonkers, New York. Growing up there would be cool for Brando, as Yonkers is a city in Westchester County and a suburb of New York City. It was developed along the Hudson River and is the third most populous city in the state of New York after New York City and Buffalo. Yonkers also has a rich music and hip-hop history as Mary J. Blige, DMX, and J.D. Kiss of the Locks are just some of the more famous entertainers that came about of Yonkers, New York. And Brando would try to follow in their footsteps because by the age of 18, he was a part of the group called Sporty Thieves, along with two other members named King Kirk and Big Doves. Brando was one of the main creative forces of the group, as he was the one that came up with a lot of the hooks on their most popular songs. The trio would drop its first and only major album in 1998 titled Street Cinema. It was released through Rough House Records and was one of the final albums to be released through Rough House, as the label was shut down less than a year later. Sales-wise, the album didn't make much of an impact only making it to number 66 on the top R&B and hip-hop albums. However, the album's lead single, No Pigeons, did have some success and peaked at number 12 on the Billboard Hot 100, giving the group their only top 40 hit. No Pigeons as a single went certified gold by July 1999 for selling over 500,000 copies. The song was a rebuttal to TLC's smash hit, No Scrubs. It received heavy radio play around the same time the TLC single was enjoying a successful chart run. Remaking woman empowerment anthems into a male version kind of became Sporty Thieves' calling card for the next few years because after the TLC remake, they did the same to a couple of Destiny Child songs also. In the year 2000, they released an independent project titled Sporty Thieves as a build-up to their second major album, which they were working on and trying to release in 2001. But before that could take place, tragedy would strike. When on May 11, 2001, Brando was tragically killed after being struck by a car in the North Bronx. The story that came out was that the rapper was leaving a Bronx deli at 3 a.m. when a minivan ran a red light, jumped the curb, and slammed into him, crushing both of his legs, which sent his blood pressure plummeting, causing him to die shortly after an ambulance arrived on the scene. It's also been reported that the driver of the car was intoxicated and swerved onto the sidewalk where Brando was believed to have saved a person's life by pushing him out the way before he was hit. Brando was only 22 years old and the father of a newborn baby at the time of his death. But yo, it's What's the Numbers TV. It was a quick profile piece on Marlon Bryant, better known as Marlon Brando out of the Sporty Thieves. Now, if you know the Sporty Thieves, No Pigeons, classic. Can never be taken away from them. They got a hit record. It will ever be, forever be a hit record. It still bumps when you hear it, like it's the first time you heard it, it still gets the party jumping. You know, you really have to be outside during that time, you know, skate key, rucker parties, you know, things like that, being outside at the Afri Day Parade, Puerto Rican Day Parade. You know, these are all times that I can remember hearing No Pigeons by the Sporty Thieves 
and it being crazy, you know what I'm saying? Get the party jumping, to get the vibe right. It was just a classic song that three dudes from Yonkers made. They probably weren't never able to recreate the same magic because, you know, Brando died. But for that moment right there, they got their hit. They catch it that time. They catch it that sound. And they catch it that moment in time, which was, you know, making rebuttals to these girl songs that was kind of like uplifting women. They kind of had the male version of that. And it kind of became their calling card. You know, now it's a sad situation that he lost his life. But like I said, they got a true New York City anthem forever. You can never take that away from them. So, of course, with him losing his life, it just made the song even that much more of an anthem, of a classic, because it could never be made again by these three guys because, you know, one of them ended up losing their life, so the group could never be could never be complete again. But shout out to them. Like I said, they never recovered. But they, I'm sure they were still able to do shows, still get some money. But I watched an interview with one of the members, and, you know, he basically said it like, you know, when they lost Brando, it kind of, like, put a halt to a lot of things that they had going on. It didn't make them, like, it didn't even have them really wanting to record no more. And, you know, it was just a sad situation all the way around because, yeah, from us, from the outside looking in, it's just a rapper. It's just where we're fans of the music. But, you know, these dudes was all friends, you know, close, like, family, have relationships before music. So it hurt everybody involved a little, a, a little more than, than the average fan. You know what I'm saying? Now, I just want to say Yonkers, as a collective, as a whole, as a city, you know, it, con it contributed to a lot of hip-hop, a lot of the early music coming out of New York City with DMX, The Locks, Mary J. Bly. A lot of, um, a lot of music was made and created out from, from the Yonkers. And, you know, you got to tilt your hat and salute Yonkers, New York, even though people don't re recognize it as one of the five barrels because it's not, but it is still a part of New York, and it still got that feel, and they still produce legendary artists out of there, man. So shout-out to Yonkers, New York. You already know what's number TV. This poll row, I just want you all to know real quick, Make sure y'all go subscribe to the lamp to the live stream and clips channel because that's where we got a lot of content dropping daily. And if you like what's numbers TV content, you need it daily. Make sure you go subscribe over there. You know, we still drop it on this channel, but for the most part, if you want everyday content, the live stream and clips channel. Profile pieces is over here, of course, and we got a bunch coming. But other than that, I don't want to hold you too long. Go follow the Instagram, follow Batty Bills on IG. And with that, we be out of here. Any business, what's the numbers TV at yahoo.com. And I'll be back before you know it, man. It's your boy, Poe Row. What's the number CV? Peace.